No groceries, no house is empty. I hope you're right about this, Jason. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Congratulations, Detective, on your scrupulous recitation of my client's Miranda rights. And now, if you don't mind, I need a moment to confer with you. I do mind. We talk to my who's been booked. Detective, I can cite any number of cases where defendants need to be released due to technicalities that occurred during the booking process, specifically when the booking process was used as a stall to deny defendants counsel. Now, I'm sure that's not your intention. But the easiest way to assure that the booking process goes smoothly at the proper time is to let me talk to him first. Fine. Right this way. Thank you, Detective. lying in a bed unconscious and a guy who put him there looks just fine okay, looks looks can be deceiving though right it's a good thing that jason's here and we need to hear what he has to say no he's not gonna talk he's got time for that oh i wish i could stop. i know i know but you have a bunch of honorary deputies out there and they need you here doing your job keeping you safe i sure hope you know what you're doing you're looking at some very serious charges. Two counts of attempted murder. One against a police officer with armor-piercing rounds. That alone carries a special circumstance charge. I'll try and get an arraignment for tomorrow. Thank you, Diane. If I haven't said it already, it's very, very good to see you again. I just wish you were under better circumstances. Yeah, me too. Any chance you're gonna actually tell me what all this is about? I can tell you this. I won't be in here for long. On the next General Hospital, is there even a way out? Because I sure can't see it. I just wish I knew anything about Jason or if you've been. What the hell are you doing here? Allow me to get answers for Dante's sake. I have some news about Jason. I don't even know who 